what to do for LRDI in the last uh, 40 days? I like to keep this to one theme. Right? So, tons and tons of uh, uh, things to do. Sometimes I feel like closer to the finish uh, and we are actually getting close to the finish. We need to simplify. We need to, we need to boil things down to one theme, one activity, one plan, one game. Something which is uh, a, a narrow set of things to focus on. And for LRDI, my most preferred thing to focus on, I think some of you uh, might be already thinking what I'm going to be sure about what I'm going to say, is previous year questions. And so they're brilliant, um, they're super juicy, and by far, and by definition, the most representative. By definition, the most representative. And they represent the thing that we all want to represent. And so there, it is that thing. And so there should be absolutely no chance in hell that you leave out even one previous year question without attempting and going to the solutions. And so, if you have not done that very aggressively, I have a super aggressive plan for that starting today. In terms of habit forming, one or two LRDI puzzles every day. That is a given. That is something that you have to say, look, I will definitely do it. From where should you select this? Either mocks, or previous mock, skip questions, or some books, some material, but all of these take a backseat to previous year questions and so if you're storing up 2024 and 23 previous year questions to be taken as mocks or you've already taken them as mocks go backwards from 22 22 21 20 is nine papers further back another three four years are available which are brilliant and, and wonderful lrdi sets are available in there and so they're not only going to help you do lrdi you're going to fine tune your decision making and so sometimes when you take mocks you get suckered into a really tough lrdi puzzle which takes 25 minutes to solve and you feel like, look, I should have left it. But probably, that's not the right decision because there's never going to be a puzzle that takes 30 minutes to solve in the exam. So this puzzle probably erred on the side of too difficult in that mock. So it, it warps your decision making. So you'll have to clean up your decision making every now and then by going back to the, to the OG. Right? So, which means you have to revisit actual papers to get the clearest sense of what is the range of level of difficulty for CAT? So whatever you do, it has to heavily, heavily incorporate previous year questions for LRDI. If you have a slightest chance of not being able to do them, shut off everything else, do that first. It is worth your while even to revisit them because second iteration, you can think about decision making. You can say about, okay, if a puzzle like this comes, this is in my swinging zone, I am attacking that. If it is this difficult and this diagram, this many constraints, I am not touching. These kind of puzzles are my territory, those kinds are not. For you can, you, can, you can take a step back from solving and fine tune your decision making. Even for that previous year question, help. For, for LRDI, the theme absolutely is, is previous year question. The habit, I should do one or two minimum, barest minimum, one or two every day so that you get used to it, you never lose touch of it. Uh, the, 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 the theme to focus on is previous year question. Best wishes for you. Thank you.